hello everyone welcome to this video in which we are going to discuss how can you solve your problems with vlc media player so in the windows we have a very common media player that is known as a vlc media player that is used to play the videos and it is preferred over most of the video players because of its ease of use it's easy to understand interface and the variety of features it offers the subtitles that um, languages you can choose the subtitles you can choose subtitles languages also you can choose and a variety of reasons due to which vlc is preferred over other media players so in this video we are going to see that what steps you can perform if your vlc media player is unable to play 1080p or 4k videos in your windows pc so the steps are very simple all you need to do is perform three simple actions so the first thing that we need to do in order to perform those actions is open up vlc media player so here is my vlc media player shortcut if i just double click over here my vlc media player would be opened now once your vlc media player is opened all you need to do is go to this tools and from tools there is an option that says preferences either you can use this path go to tools and preferences or simply you can use the shortcut Control p to go to preferences once you are in the preferences this kind of a dialog box will appear I have maximized it to cover the whole window so that you can understand it easily. Now in the very bottom left corner you will see show settings simple or all. So right now it is showing simple settings. Let's click on all so that it shows us all the settings. Now in all the settings we will be able to customize um, the settings that help us to play 480, 4k and 1080p videos. So how do we do that on the left hand side you will see there is a kind of a menu okay so there are different options like advanced audio input codecs interface playlist stream output video so either these all be expanded or you can contract them like i just did so what we need to do is go to this video then uh, we need to just select this video actually and scroll down So once you scroll down, you will see all these different options on the right side panel. Okay. So let's just go to output modules. Just select the output modules instead of uh, con expanding it. Just select the output modules and make sure the general settings for video output modules is showing the video output module as automatic. It shouldn't be disabled. It shouldn't be anything else. It should be automatic so that whatever the output module is, whether it's 1080p, 4K, 720p, 480p or whatever the resolution is that is taken automatically by your VLC player. Once it's done, just click on save, close your VLC player and reopen it. So that's the first thing that we need to do. The next two things are again, we need to go to tools and preferences. For the settings, just click on all. Now here we have these options in which we have this input slash codex option. Okay. So in this input codex option, if you just go to this particular option that says input slash codex then here are these different settings that we are getting so we need to just scroll down till we come to this advanced group so you see this is a group that says advanced in this the first option is file caching in milliseconds so here notice the value right now my value is 1000 which is the absolutely correct value in your case the value might be different for example, in your case, if the value is 300, you have to change it to 600, like whatever the value is, you need to double it. If it is 500, change it to a thousand. But the maximum value that you need to do is keep a thousand because file catching is actually keeping a catch uh, memory of your file of your particular video so that you can go back that much amount of time in your VLC player and that would be played. So anything about thousand milliseconds would be too much. So the maximum value you can keep is a thousand. The minimum you can keep is a 300, but 300 is not that preferred because that might cause um, some lagging issues while playing the video. So thousand is an ideal value. If it is 300 in your case, just don't increase directly to the thousand, just double it to a 600. If it is a 500, just double it to a thousand. So that's what you're supposed to do. Once you have done this again, click on save. Again, go to tools and preferences, uh, show settings. So all the settings you need to show, go to again, input codex. This time uh, in the input codex, there is an option of video codex. So just expand this. And there are these different options that are given to you. So out of these, just go to FFmpeg. This is the most common video codec that we use, FFmpeg uh, option. So in here, make sure the hardware decoding is set to automatic. It is not disabled. It is not any other value. It should be set as automatic. And make sure the threads are set to two. 
uh, in my case it was zero but you can set it to two maximum value is two just set it to click on save then restart your vlc player like close it and reopen it with the once then again close it and then uh, play it with the video so that should have solved your issue so once that's all done that should solve your issue that's it for this video thanks for watching